everyone welcome back to my youtube channel physios healing touch so today i will tell you about elbow flexion and elbow extension mmt in case you want to watch my other mmt videos as well you can go to the playlist i have created a playlist of mmt you can check there i have listed all the mmt videos there so first is elbow flexion mmt Muscles responsible for elbow flexion are biceps brachii. It has short head and long head, and brachialis, brachioradialis, and other muscles are pronator teres, extensor carpi radialis longus, flexor carpi radialis, and flexor carpi ulnaris. These are assisting muscles. Normal range of motion is zero to one fifty degrees. For grade 3, patient will be in a short sitting position and the therapist will be standing beside the patient and he will hold the patient's arm from at the elbow level and then ask the patient to flex the elbow. To check biceps brachii, forearm will be supinated like the way I am doing. To check brachialis, forearm will be pronated as you can see in this video and then ask the patient to flex the elbow. To check brachioradialis, forearm will be in the mid position between pronation and supination and then ask the patient to bend the elbow. For grade 4, all the positions will be same but therapist one hand will be on anterior surface of the upper arm to resist any kind of upper limb movement. Because patient can perform any kind of trick movements to compensate the weakness of elbow flexors. Now, for biceps brachii, forearm will be supinated and at the end range, therapist will apply resistance on the interior surface of the proximal wrist in moderate pressure. For brachioradialis, forearm will be in the mid position of supination and pronation and in the end range, therapist will apply pressure. In to check brachialis, forearm will be pronated and in the end range, therapist will apply moderate pressure towards extension. If patient can hold this position for 10 seconds, then his grade 4 is good progress to grade 5. To check grade 5, all the positions will be same, but now therapist will apply maximum pressure and patient has to hold that position. For grade 2, patient will be in a short sitting position and his shoulder will be 90 degree abducted. Therapist will be standing beside the patient and then ask the patient to bend his elbow to check biceps brachii forearm will be supinated as you can see in this video for brachioradialis it will be forearm will be in the mid position of pronation and supination and for brachialis forearm will be in pronated position grade 2 is performed in gravity eliminated position in grade 1 there will be no movement but you can feel the contraction of that muscle so you have to check all the three muscles so first is biceps brachii you will able to feel the tendon of biceps brachii in the cubital fossa. Brachialis tendon will be medial to the tendon of biceps brachii. For brachioradialis activity, I am palpating the muscle and in grade 0, there will be no muscle contraction as well. Now next is elbow extension MMT. Muscles responsible for elbow extension are triceps brachii. It has long head, lateral head and medial head and other assisting muscle is enconius and the normal range of motion is 150 to 0 degrees. Now for grade 3, patient will be in prone position with 90 degree of shoulder abduction and forearm will be flexed hanging outside the table and therapist will be standing beside the patient. With one hand, therapist will support just above the elbow. Then ask the patient to straighten his elbow. Patient will complete full range of motion against gravity without any resistance. For grade 4, all the positions will be same. In this, the therapist will apply moderate resistance just below the wrist joint on the dorsal surface of forearm. Now here is one thing to remember, do not allow the patient to hyperextend the elbow because in that position, elbow will be locked and patient can easily hold that position. We studied this thing in knee extension MMT as well. Now in grade 5, patient has to hold against the maximal resistance for few seconds. Now grade 2 is gravity eliminated. Patient will be in a short sitting position with shoulder 90 degree flexed. Therapist will be standing beside the patient and he will support the patient's elbow 
then ask the patient to straighten his elbow now in grade 1 there will be no movement but patient therapist can palpate the muscle activity or tendon prominence just about the olecranon process and in grade 0 there is no muscle activity as well